Hey there guys, it's Hobo525 here, back with another video. And this year is kind of a special occasion because it is the 10th year anniversary of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I'm very excited, you know, because we're getting Infinity War. And that's easily my most hyped movie for this year. I cannot wait for that movie. It's going to be so good. At least I hope it is. I'm, I'm sure it will be. It's directed by the Russo brothers, so we should be good to go. So, yeah, and to celebrate this awesome occasion, Marvel Legends has um, produced some action figures that have to do with the 10th year anniversary. And, yeah, um, I don't know when these are coming out. They should come out. I mean, I assumed they would come out by May, at least, because Iron Man came out on May 2nd, 2008, so I just assumed they'd be released sometime in May, you know, kind of fits in with the, um, with the month, you know, so, yeah, um, we are getting some more movie figures, and, yeah, I'm just gonna go over my thoughts about them, there aren't that much figures to cover in this video, I'm sure Marvel will make more, um, I'll talk about maybe more of those at the end, or something like that, I don't know, so yeah, that said, let's get into my thoughts. So the first two figures that are revealed is actually a two-pack from Captain America Civil War, which includes Captain America and Crossbones. And I think this Crossbones figure looks really sick and really movie accurate. I was kind of disappointed that we not that did, that that we didn't get them in the uh, Giant Man wave, which yeah, um, but whatever, because we're getting them in this two-pack now, and. Um, but we do get a Brock Runlow head sculpt, and, and it's his head all jacked up from the Winter Soldier movie. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm glad they included that. Uh, they also have Crossbones Gauntlets, which looks pretty cool. That's very well sculpted. So, yeah, I cannot wait till this figure comes out. We're also getting a Captain America repaint. And yeah, that's why I'm not very excited about this two pack. I wish this two pack wasn't a two pack. I wish Crossbones was just separate because this two pack is probably going to end up costing about fifty bucks if that's twenty five dollars per figure. And I already have a two Civil War Captain Americas, a battle damage one from the three pack, and just a regular one from the Giant Man wave. Yeah, um, like I know they kind of had to include Captain America. Like if they're going to make a two pack. You know, Crossbones is mainly a Captain America villain. So, yeah, why not have Captain America in the two-pack? But, like, it's just a repaint of the one I already have. I mean, it is better. I do like the figure better, but I already have two. So, I don't really need another one anyways. You know? But, yeah, um, his head sculpt is actually very accurate to Chris Evans from the looks of it. Way more accurate than the three-pack Civil War one because I don't like that head sculpt at all. It looks nothing like Chris Evans. And this one does look like Chris Evans. So, yeah. Um, I'm probably not going to get this two-pack right when it comes out. Even though I want the figure for Crossbones really badly. Because I'm trying to expand my Marvel Legends um, MCU villain collection. I only have two right now. And that is Loki and Killmonger. I want to get Crossbones and Hela. Those are my main two that I want to get now. That Crossbones is revealed. So... Yeah, but I'm just gonna be, like, getting this two-pack when it's, like, very cheap on Amazon. Like, the Star-Lord and Ego two-pack, it was, at one point, it was $13. I don't know why I didn't get it, but whatever. Um, if this is ever $13 or, like, 20 bucks, I don't want to pay 50 bucks for this if I'm gonna get the same figure. Or I might just get Crossbones separate on eBay, because I really don't want this two-pack, because that is Captain America. I don't want to spend a bunch of money for a figure that I already have two of. You know? So, yeah, that was my little rant there, but it makes sense because this is my thoughts. So, yeah, on to the next figure. So, we are finally getting a Mark 7 Iron Man, which I'm very hyped to get. I really do want to get this. I probably won't buy it right when it's out because I already have uh, Mark 46 Iron Man. Well, technically, I have two because, you know, one from the Giant Man build a figure and then another one from the three pack. But,. I actually like this figure a lot, and it's a different armor, unlike Captain America, where it's like the same suit. So, yeah, this figure looks way better than the Mark 46, mostly because of its paint. I love that paint. The paint apps on this figure 
are great. I wish every Iron Man figure was like this because I don't really like the paint apps on the Mark 46 figures that I have. Um, they're not really like metallic enough. Like this metallic paint pretty much makes the figure. I love it so much. I cannot wait for this thing to come out. Um, I'm glad we're finally getting it, you know. So, yeah. As you can see, we also have uh, a little back view of the Mark 7 figure, which looks very movie accurate and detailed. And, yeah, you know, same as the front. Awesome paint apps, awesome sculpts. I'm glad they just didn't make this, like, the sculpt on the back just all red. Because sometimes they do that, like... On the front, they add a bunch of detail for the sculpt. Then on the back, they just don't really do that because I guess Hasbro thinks you're not going to have your figures facing backwards, but like still. I'm glad they're adding the detail this time. This is probably my favorite detail of the figure, and we are getting this Mark 7 with the air breakers. And yeah, I remember at the end when uh, Tony Stark um, got the nuke and he put it into space at, and threw it at the Jatari base. And that rhymed. And uh, the little things that went off his back were air breakers. So yeah, we were actually getting that on this figure, which is an awesome detail. When I have them posed, I'm definitely going to extend those. Um, yeah, I think it's a very, very good detail. I'm really glad they added that. And yeah, that's all my thoughts for this figure. And yeah, those are all the figures that have been revealed so far for this 10th anniversary wave i guess so this will be referred to as a wave i don't know i'm just gonna call it a wave i do hope we get more figures i mean i'm 90 percent sure we are they're not just gonna release a two-pack and a mark 7 iron man for the 10th anniversary of the mcu at least i hope that's not what they're doing and i do hope we get some more like figures that marvel forgot to make when like their movies came out like i want to get like a ronin figure you know not, not like a hawkeye ronin Actually, a Hawkeye Ronin, like a Clint Barton Ronin, would actually be a very good comic figure. I want to get him, too. That'd be actually pretty cool. It would be, actually. Like, okay. Uh, pray we get a Ronin figure. And I do hope we get the Ronin from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And we get a yellow jacket from Ant-Man. Yeah. So, those are my thoughts on those ways. You know, I think it's a pretty good start. Um, I hope we get better figures soon. Uh, I'm, like, semi-excited for it. Like, that Iron Man is not, like, the most wanted figure I want right now. Because I already have another Iron Man. I will get him soon, but I'm going to, like, focus my money on characters I don't have. And then I'll get different versions of the characters. And I'm not really excited for that two-pack. I'm just going to find a crossbones on eBay. I hope none of these get scalped. That would, that would really suck. But whatever. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. Well, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'm probably going to make more videos anyways. Yeah. Obo55 out.